I'm trying to be verified. <laughs> I've got 1,000 followers right now. Um, so yes, so this is me on Twitter, and that is me on Facebook. Kindly uh, follow me. So yes, I'm all about the inspiration. I'm one of those people who don't do stuff if I don't feel it, and I feel most creators are like that. My number one news, as I'm going to say, I'm a product, I'm a child of God, a product of grace, a work in progress, defined by life's awkward moments. How many people understand what I'm talking about? Amen. Now, uh, in adversity, these awkward moments have made me experiment, because I like doing new stuff. Not kinky things, just so you know. <laughs> just, I like doing new stuff. And if you're bordering on that, inbox me on Facebook. Do not write on my time or my pasta for those. So this is my book. That's my boy. He's two years old. And everything that I do is for him. I don't understand how I used to live without him because my perspective and my creativity and what I do in life has changed ever since I became a mom. I love him, he loves me, he bites, chews and spits and allows me to speak four hours a day. So yes. If you have a daughter, that's my email address, send your application is hot. <laughs> my third news, my sanity or lack of it. Now these are what I call my callings on earth. I do so many things which is a blessing and a curse um, at the same time. I'm a radio presenter, I work for Hot 96. Please tune in to the breakfast show, uh, frequency is 96.0. I do breakfast with Mike Mondo. 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. I do a, sh a, a show on Saturday. It's called Rhapsody. It plays in your soul. It's my favorite show. I get to be me. I play in your soul and upper fusion. Um, it's been moved. The time slot has been moved to 1 to 4. So tomorrow, tune in 1 to 4, 96.0. I am an MC. I MC for Kwani Open Mic and also MC professionally for different events. For 100 girls in 100 days, ACB Kenya, British Council, Kunabijana, for my church, Mabuna Church, and Kwani Trust. And I own a band. I don't know. I manage a band. It's an all-male a cappella band. We sing Afro fusion. I'm the only chick in the among 16 guys, so I love the attention. It's a really fantastic place to be. Now this is part of. Um, as I said, I do things that I feel. I have a charity called This Boy This Man. Now. Um, I feel and my band members feel that the boy child has been neglected. How many people feel me? Yes? A lot of emphasis is on the girl child, which is fine because we are Africans and we're in societies where, for example, in Northeastern, they trade the girls to get money to send the boys to school. Granted. But if you go to urban areas, we have boys who, when the girls are being taught about puberty and always come and they put the girls aside, the boys are told to go out and play. So, why and the boys put in a setting like this and told you know what you have wet dreams you know what mm. so when you grow up you'll be a man and these are the challenges you face and you might not have a dad so we are like the fathers to young boys and this boy this man is an initiative to elevate and educate young boys and um, sort of give them a chance to be good men. This boy, this man, um, is uh, <clears throat> apart from charity, it is also a um, social meet and greet event. We have something called the Mingo. We didn't, we got the Mingo first, by the way. If there's anyone from Zuku, we started the Mingo. Where you mingle and you network, our band plays. You pay to see our band play. It's 500 shillings. The next one is August 2nd. Please come. You pay to see our band play. The band is called Tamasha Beats. And that money goes towards the cause. Yeah, we educate a boy, we pay a medical bill, anything to make sure that the men become better because we feel that they are not being given a fair chance. <laughs> What's new with me? So many things that I'm doing apart from this boy, this man. I am blessed to have my own production company. It's called Bonita Bell Productions. I am a casting agent. I cast children. Um, I just felt maybe because I'm a mom as well and also because I am surrounded by a lot of saliva and poop. I decided to make money off it. So um, when ad agencies are looking for babies to cast in magazines and in newspaper articles or whatever, I cast them. I source for the kids. I take good photos of them and then they get to choose which kid is yellower than the other. I don't know, they always choose the yellow kids, which I'm against, but you know, we have been colonized, so we believe that yellower is uh, better than dark. Another thing, um, what, am I, what else? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. This whole thing of the yellower you are, the cooler you are, I don't know. Um, 
Something else that I'm doing, 3.9 Productions, um, we are into, I would like to call it selective dating. We are exclusive. We are for the middle class man and woman who doesn't have time because of their busy schedules and they need to pay bills, who doesn't have time to go to the pub and prostitute themselves for a man. So what we do is we create an avenue where you can meet eligible and eligible single men and women of repute, of integrity, people who you can introduce to your mother and father and hopefully continue your lineage with. We, um, we allow you to meet such kind of people. It's very exclusive, by the way, these are subscription fee. So have a agree if you're single. What else? Nanzi Kambe, it is a festival in Malawi. Um, something else I do, I am a poet. I'm a spoken word poet. And I will be representing our country. This is where you clap. Oh, yes. I don't have a clap or anything, but I'll be representing our country as a Kenyan poet. At, uh, it's in Malawi. Um, the first ever, they've never had a Kenyan poet. I will be the first, it will be at the end of August. And finally, my band, Tamasha Beats. Please check out our website, www.tamashabeats.com. Get to know we have a new video coming out. We are doing collaborations with musicians such as Amelina. We are breaking away from the whole thing of if you're an a cappella band, you have to sound like Kayamba. We're doing our own original, authentic African music. And yes, that's it. Well done.